Welcome back. This winter's historic snowfall was a shock for almost everyone. Yeah, so what could that mean for the, our summer ahead now? Chief Meteorologist Sterling Polson joining us now. Sterling, you've been looking at trends. You've been looking at the summer months. What is it telling us? Well, Mark and Heidi, for 40 years I've been forecasting weather here in Utah. Most years the seasons are fairly predictable. But this summer, fall, and winter of 2022 and 23 produce weather that nobody could have imagined. Last April, Utah was in a multi-year drought, and plans to survive the summer months ahead were top of mind. I'm issuing a drought state of emergency effective today. Extreme drought conditions remained with no rain in sight. A string of record temperatures lasted into September, and nobody was forecasting a wet winter. Suddenly, as if someone flipped a switch, the storms rolled into Utah. The entire state experienced several atmospheric rivers, producing record-breaking precipitation. Snow piled up to record levels in our mountains, avalanches became a daily occurrence, and temperatures stayed cool. Now we're concerned about flooding, but that's not the only problem. A new crop of fire fuel is already growing across the state. Mike Melton with the Division of Forestry, Fire, and State Lands explains. The other thing is, uh, in our, our areas, not, not the higher elevations, but out in the uh, low and high deserts, is we'll see a lot of grass crop uh, this year, and we'll just have to see how that plays out. When making a forecast, I look at what the weather is now, and then I look at what's coming to see how it could change the weather going forward. So, with the unpredictable weather we've had, I'm forecasting more of the same volatile and potentially extreme weather to continue through the summer. That means we could end up with another hot, dry summer with a lot of dry vegetation. Looking at it from uh, the fire manager's perspective is uh, we have an increased amount of grass. It's not patchy, it's continuous this year with all of the rain. And once it dries out, it'll become the spread factor with our, with our wildfire starts once they start to occur. Drought conditions remain in central Utah, and if the summer monsoons are delayed, things could dry out quickly. Lifelong resident of Centerfield, Val Jean Hansen, says water supplies will need to last into the fall. If it stays 80 degrees like it is today for five or six or a week, we'll have lots and lots of water coming. And a good share of that high water will be gone. So then we'll be left what's left in the Gunnison Reservoir for the rest of the year. The other extreme would be a wet, cool summer monsoon with a continued threat of mudslides and a much higher probability of flash flooding due to saturated soils and burn scars. So the bottom line, be ready for anything this summer. Remember to conserve water, create more efficient landscaping, and to start now to protect your home from floods, fires, and more drought because with our current pattern of weather extremes, we need to expect the unexpected.